previously on Flavor of Love. I am I am You do? You need a strong woman. Don't listen to that lady. I think she was drinking. When was the last time you made love to your ex? One month ago. How long have you been in the house? By the math. Oh. Seasons is yelling. Twins are yelling. It's about to go down. A week before she came here, she gave it to blow it up. I'm like, hey. Thing one, the time is up. Go. I can't take it. When my sister got eliminated, it just really threw a monkey wrench in the whole process. It feels like it's been a funeral. Just me and you, D2. It's just me. I think D2 is going to be okay, even though her sister left. I think it'll be a little bit harder because she's used to having her sister around, but that's what I'm here for. Night, night, thing two. Night, night, <laughs> thing three. <laughs> I know the sincere thing too, spooning each other at night. Grown ass women sleeping in one bed does not sit well with me. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, big baby. Here's your flavor ground for today. Today I'm kind of a little excited. I'm ready for the new challenge. The last challenge was a little rough on me. I'm just, you know, ready to get in there and win this challenge so I can have my date with Flav. I need a woman who knows how to handle herself in the limelight. So put on your best voice and meet me at the Power 106 radio station because today, love is on the air. Today, I decided to take the girls down to 106 FM to visit my boy, Big Boy. <laughs> so Big Boy can help me find out who was best for Flavor Flay. Good morning, how y'all doing? My girls. Good morning. So ladies, check this out. We're gonna go up here to the radio station, right? We're gonna go on my man Big Boy's show. Hi. That's my man Fuzzy right here. He works with Big Boy. So um, this is what's gonna be popping. Big Boy is one of the world's most famous down-earth radio jocks that California has ever had. As y'all know, I do have a bunch of fans out there. I just wanna see how y'all can stand up to the masses of fans that I got, you know what I'm saying? But then I wanna think too of what they feel about y'all. Big Boy is gonna put all my girls out to the callers and ask America what they think. Now the two girls that do the best will win a date with your man. All right, ladies, this is what I'm gonna drop y'all off at right. for right now. So I'm gonna go um, chat with my man, Big Boy, and after I chat with Big Boy, then I'll be back for y'all. Hi. 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 So, uh, when I find out that we're gonna be on air with Big Boy, I realize that this is a big deal because he's gonna decide who gets to win the date with Flav, and I'm ready to go. I'm hoping that I win this challenge today. This is gonna be one long morning. <laughs> Might as well get started. I'm definitely nervous waiting to go on the show, so I was all like, it's a good idea for us to loosen up by drinking some before we do go on air. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> that screams alcoholic, my dear. Gracias. Uh -oh. Big boy! Flavor, flavor! We got flavor, flavor! Yeah, boy! Yo, I'm back up here in your neighborhood, baby. Saying I'm, I'm, I'm a fan first when it comes to Flavor Flav family. Thank so, you, family. So it's a pleasure to have you up in here once again. Stick around, y'all radios, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dan Big Boy's Big neighborhood. Big Boy! Oh, yeah, dude. Look at y'all. Y'all killed this. The other one's gone? Put some more in there. <laughs> uh, wow. Does it ever trip you out, Flav, that, like, girls, like, keep applying, like, having seen the show? You know, you got a lot of people, man, that's really looking for some some exposure some kind of way. 
So if they feel that they can come through the flavor of love to get that. Right. I can feel real can recognize real, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can feel when the love is real. You can feel when it's fake. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day, you know? So I just... Wow. Let's go try your love back. We've been in here over a Don't month. Don't get rid of fucking immunity because she don't deserve it. Uh, here we go. More bullshit. Sincere and her sidekick are hollering and screaming and yelling at me and getting all in my face like we're 12. Yeah, we loser. 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 If you could have done something better, then you should have done it. There you go. Loser. Loser. Wow. And I hear the girls is definitely right now out of control. This is amazing, but a little bit embarrassing, folks. You ready? I I'm ready, family. Uh, yo, call the girls. Bring, bring in my girls. All bring right. Y'all yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready. So Flav is finally done with his interview, so it's our turn to go into the studio. And I can't wait to see Sincere fall flat on her head. I just want to say like this. Do your man right. All right. You know we will. All right. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Go ahead now. After these important messages, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hello. <laughs> and what the girls don't know is that I'm going to listen to the whole show so I can learn a lot more. You guys know that we're in a position today that Flav asked us to pick a lady for him. All right. Well, get rid of this fake one over here. Right. Get rid of this fake one. Please. Please. And all also, right. we got to keep this Cosby clean because them fines are like $500,000. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, man, Seasons, do you get along with everybody in the house? Um, no, I don't get along with Hood Rat or uh, Head over there. Do you get along with everybody in the house, Black? I mean, yeah, I think they all cool. You know, I'm just now kind of learning everybody's personality. <laughs> what about you, Thing, too? I or mean, you know what? I kick it with Sincere. I think Black is cool treat, but this fake one over here, she got to go. I don't think Flav is feeling two lesbians in his house right now. <laughs> so. you know I accidentally let the cat out the bag about Sincere and think two sleeping in the same bed. That pretty much just set off a whirlwind. No, no, we no, we, we live in the house for over a month. Let me get, let, let me get thing two. No, 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 we live with her for over a month. We never had to Her head's too big. Head no, big. No, no, I'm good. Oh, come on, Wolverine. I'm good. Come on, come on. Ain't nobody hating with your fake ass. You're fake and you're phony. Seasons is a liar and she's a fake. I'm gonna let the whole world know about her. Don't rub DC! Don't rub DC! Don't rub DC. Don't rub DC. Oh, we got a duck button in the fine sheet. Hold on, ladies. Hey, man. Somebody call Flav Jones. Hey, man. And what we gotta do, once again, we gotta make sure that we don't curse on the air. Oh, yeah. Crack hands on the corner with no teeth. Check this bitch out right here. Smile. Right now, this is definitely out of control. And your man Flavor Flav is about to go out of his mind right now. I can't even think straight. <laughs> she got more There it is. All right, we kicked off the air. Coming up. He's the shizzle for a nizzle. You smell drunk. Right. It's a love thing. I got my hands full. Change her name to Whiskey. Hey, later. I'm not going to wait for Flav to give me time. I'm going to take my time with him. Thing two. The man is failing you. Here we go. Three, two, one. Big Boys Neighborhood is going down. Ladies and gentlemen, back all the way to live. We got the fighting Flavor Flav girls up in here. Seasons and Sincere was going at it. Head to head. Boom, boom. Cursing at each other. What the hell is going on here, folks? Yeah, big okay. Boy, wait a minute. Big Boy. Yeah. The beanie is covering up the protruding forehead right now, okay? <laughs> have you ever, big boy, have you seen Star Trek? You know Star Trek? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through the phone now. calls right now. I'm just going to grab a person's name just by what they're listening to right now. Who do you think is that, that female for Flavor Flay? Right. And let, let's just grab some people right now. Let me just let me just flip through them. Big Boy's Neighborhood, who's this? Yo, what's up, man? This is Kay. <laughs> Who do you think, boom, Flav should go ahead and pick? I think I'm going to go with uh, Seasons. She got some attitude. Ooh, I like her. Thank you. Seasons, thank you all right. Much. There it is right there. There it thank is right you. there. Finally, somebody is noticing what kind of a person I am and that I really am a good-hearted person and that I really am the best candidate for Flav. Leroy, who do you think is the best girl for Flavor Flav? 
from just listening to the conversations, I think Seasons is. Thank you, Seasons, baby. wow. All righty. Thank you. Thank you. The callers were calling in for Seasons. I think that is bullshit because the bitch wasn't doing nothing but talking a lot of shit over the air. I just want you to fill in the blank. I love Flay because... I love Flay because he's the shizzle for a nizzle and whatever the hizzle. Oh, hey, now. <laughs> Some, somebody been... Somebody been here zipping on the bizzle. I come from a little blind alcoholic, so it took a little bit more than one or two, three, four drinks for me to finish. That's what Flav's gonna want it. You know, no, early no, in the morning, no, a drunk no, in the morning. No, no, no. I don't drink all the time. I well, don't. You're drinking right now? Y'all, you, you, know, you yeah, smell drunk. Radio. <laughs> I'm drunk. Tell the truth. You're not only acting drunk, you smell drunk. Right. I was very upset that this fat fuck was sitting over here trying to judge me when all of us had been drinking that morning. My name Sincere, and I ain't going no more. Mother loving where? Big boys neighborhood. Ladies, I definitely want to thank y'all once again for coming up in here. And then we're going to have a little sit down, a little powwow with Flav and see exactly which uh, which one of you ladies we're going to keep around for Flavor Flav. Right. It's a love thing. That's what I know. Praise <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, you know. Oh, whoa. Flavor Flav. Flav. Wow. Yo, big boy, I was listening in, G. Wow. Feel sorry for me? I do. Do I got my plate full? Do I got my hands full? After the girls had their times with the callers, then I decided to go back in to see my boy, big boy, and his crew to see what they had to tell me about my crew. I think you would have your hands full with Sincere, but yeah. the other girls is more like, I'm here to just see what's going down with Flav. If you want to go out with the girl that can out drink you, go with Sincere, man. Wow. Yeah, man, she smells like a frat house. Yeah, wow. You should change her name to Whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how funny is it that all of them had something to say about Sincere? And they was telling me, Flav, you need to get rid of that girl because she smells like the bar at 7.30 in the morning. Like, I enjoy Tree because she was real quiet. But Black was one of those sitting between, you know, seasons and thing, too. She just held her composure. So, so... If it was the phone calls, I would say seasons. If it's if it's us just kind of just sitting in here, I would say possibly black. If you know, for the next day. Big boy told me that a lot of the callers was liking seasons, and also I was impressed with black because he did a good job keeping it real. I just made my decision right now. All right. I want y'all to see this. All right. All right. I want you. my girls. Where the girls? Hello. Girls. I just want to say one thing. I was listening to the show. Wow. Everybody was calling, voting for you, Seasons. Know what I'm saying? And then not only that, but then everybody had a big opinion on you too, Black. Know what I'm saying? I made my decision. My two dates is going to be Black and Seasons. All right, Black, I'm going to take you tonight. Seasons, I'm going to take you tomorrow. So it was Seasons and Black. I guess it was Black Season. All right. I'm just excited that I won. I'm getting my solo date with Flav. All right. I'm going to see y'all back at the mansion. Thank you, All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Nice to meet you. See y'all. I'm going to see y'all back at the mansion because I'm on expansion. When we got back home, myself, Sincere, and Black, we just can't get over the fake girls that's still in the house. I mean, no, like, I like Tree. Like, you know, she's a sweet girl, but... She ain't never seen none of the episodes. Like, she who does she even know who Flavor Flav is? She don't know. That's why I was like, well, 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 how did you even know about this? And she was like, oh, well, I just heard about a casting call. Oh. She never watched the episode. Perpetrating ass bitch, man. All she knew was casting call. She thought it was her modeling or just something. So she like tried out for America's Next Top Model. She did? This bitch does not look like America's Next Top Model. This bitch looks like a man. Was she on there? What? They didn't pick her. Of course not. Did I'm she tell it, Flav? Okay. Tell him. I asked her, and she said, yeah, that she had tried out for America's Next Top Model. So I was like, OK, well, I wonder, you know, if Flav knows that. Well, we got back to the mansion. I told the girls, go put on your bathing suits. It's time for us to spend some time in the backyard. How y'all feel? Good. Yeah. Huh? Hey, you know what feels funny? I got y'all up to myself for the daytime now. Yeah. So what y'all want to talk about? Let somebody strike it up. Question. 
It has been brought to Sincere's attention that um, you tried out for America's Not Next Top Model and you didn't make it. So maybe that's the reason why you're here. Are you just trying to get into the modeling gig? I just wanted Flav to know that this bitch has auditioned for other reality shows and the only thing she's here for is exposure. I didn't know you that you tried out for Top Model. You never told me that. I'm getting a little worried at this point, you know? Like, I'm here for Flav. And, and I don't want that to be, you know, a, a concern that he has. So Have you ever um, tried out for any other TV shows, too? Um, no. No, not that I can recollect at all. America's Next Top Model. How the hell are you not going to recall if you tried out for another TV show? Come on now. I guess you could call me a model because I was in Jet Magazine. But other than that, those ghetto fashion shows were nothing much. See, I got a problem with the word ghetto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just completely confused, you know, and I'm just... <laughs> what? So, I'm you just... know, when somebody say, yo, that's ghetto, that's ghetto, that's like a... That's like being racist against the ghetto. Mm -hmm. She told me that she went on some ghetto shoots. And I'm like, yo, man, that kind of offended me because your man Flavor Flav is definitely from the ghetto. And the ghetto ain't a bad place to be in, G. It was a ghetto fashion show that I felt. Was, I, I call it ghetto. The more and more she's talking, the more and more she's saying, the more and more I think Flav is starting to see through her bullshit. I want y'all to understand how I feel about the word ghetto. I just wish that y'all wouldn't use it around me because mm. that's being racist against where I grew up. No, it was a ghetto fashion show. Coming up. I ain't gonna lie. She said that it was like losing her virginity all over again. This is special to me. Woo! And later. Next thing you know, Romeo took a swipe at your man Flavor Oh my God! I only have a few rules, all right, when you're with my man. No kissing, no hugging. Don't even look at him. <laughs> I'm just excited that I won. I'm getting my solo date with Flav. It'll be our first actual solo date out. Wow. Oh, she's beautiful. Thank you. She's hot. <laughs> look at you. What's up, Flav? What's up, Flav? I've been looking forward to having a date with Black ever since Black first walked in the house. Welcome to the foundry on Melrose. Hey, thank you. But tonight, I decided I'm going to take Black to the foundry restaurant. And boy, is it going to be a magical experience. <laughs> Woo! You really beat me with your beauty. You taking your beauty as if it was a belt, you beat me with it. You know what I mean? We toasted to this beautiful time that we're having together. For real. Hello, folks. Perhaps a little magical appetizer. I decided to have a magician drop by. Reason why is because I love magic. Magic has always been one of my favorite things since I was a kid. I move with style and grace, and I leave amazement on your face. I was definitely surprised to see the magician come. I knew it was something extra that Flav had set up for me. I'm gonna get a little petal off the rose and watch closely. Watch. Wow. <laughs> Let me see that napkin right there. I'm gonna go ahead and zip the bag up, place this inside the bag and watch. One, two, and you're not gonna believe it. Three. <gasps> <laughs> wow! So pretty. Remember that magic is love and love is magic. See? <laughs> Peace. <Yeah>. Wow! <laughs> you like white roses? I like them better than red roses. He made me feel comfortable and he made me feel safe, so I didn't have anything to be worried about. Out of all of my dates, um, this is one I wanted to come on most. 
And me and Black move towards the couch for much more of a romantic setting. Family is definitely important to me. How close are you with your family? That's, that's, you know, I talk to my grandmother like three, four times a day. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Wow, did you speak to her today? No, I haven't actually talked to her since I've been down here. I didn't wow. know. I'll right. be seeing everybody else on the phone downstairs. How come you can't be on that bitch too? Because at the end of the day, baby, all you got, besides me, is your family. I'm about to meet my mom soon. If you stay around me, I'm gonna have to meet yours too. There's a, a lot of a lot of stuff with that that you know I don't want to okay. get into right and now. And I can and... understand and I can respect that. I want to teach you some things. I want to teach you more about me. I feel good as far as my connection with Flav goes. I definitely know that he's feeling me. He's just amazing and sweet and. It was it was a great day. On the way out, if we see the chef, let's thank him. Now dinner is over, and I'm looking forward to having my nightcap with Black. And I'm definitely not gonna let anything get in our way. How does this look? They look too poochy. Why are you dressed up? Cause I'm about to have some time. How are you getting your time? I am. I have not yet had a one-on-one -on -one time with just me and him. Tonight is my time. Two what is a size two? This is a one. <laughs> Look at hoochie mama. I'm kind of wishing that I would have came up with the idea because I hadn't spent any time with Flay since we had our last date. I knew Flay had one on a date. We have a family recipe a secret recipe of banana pudding. So I decided to have a little dessert ready. I'm not gonna wait for Flay to give me time. I'm gonna take my time with him. Wow. <laughs> What's up, ladies? What's up, Can I have like 10 minutes of my time to? I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get my hour with my man. It's for you too. Thank you. You're welcome. Thing two puts a rose into my hand, and I was kind of shocked and impressed. And thing two said she wanted to talk to me for a while. And you know what? I could not say no to thing two. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Okay? At this point, I'm kind of pissed. She's interrupting his nightcap with me. So I leaded him into the gazebo, and when he seen how I set it up, he was so impressed. Once again, I got the wow. Wow thing, too. You know you do. I just wanted to just something kind of special. You have plenty one-on-ones, but this is special to me. This is my, like, my virginity getting taken. This is, like, something like that. It's special. <laughs> this was her first one-on-one -on -one time with me, and I ain't gonna lie. She said that it was like her losing her virginity all over again. Wow. And I just want you to see how it is, just me by myself, without my sister, without anybody, so you can know what you want to do. Yeah, I just wanted just a little time. That's it, but just as long as I got this little bit of time, I'm good. I want to promise you one thing. You'll get more. I know. For real. I know. Thing two, mm -hmm. the man is feeling you. Guess what? what? You're not going anywhere. <laughs> not right now. I really think thing two is really feeling you, man, flavor flav like that. Operation straight up and down. No joke, no chaser. Knocking out with Flav, having a long, luscious, Kiss with him was just amazing. Hey, ladies, please come meet me at the bar. Miss Seasons, mm -hmm. I heard you rocked the night yesterday <laughs> at Power 106. Yes, I did. 
On that note, ladies, here's your flavor ground for today. I won my date with Flav, and I'm so excited. I can't wait. I have all day to spend with him on my date. Seasons, yesterday you showed me that you've got the eye of the tiger, and you won't stop until you get your man. Today, you should feel right in your element. Meet me at the bottom of the stairs in an hour and bring that ferocious appetite with you. I'll see the rest of you later tonight for elimination, where it's going to kill your man because somebody else has got to go. Love Flay, a.k.a. king of my jungle. <laughs> I'm pissed because Seasons gets another date with Flay, and I really don't think she deserves it. Seasons. Hello, darling. Wow, you look lovely. Flav comes down and he has on this nice red leopard print outfit looking oh so good. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? What's going on? Nothing, I'm ready to go. You ready to go? Mm-hmm. So I begin to make my way to the front door to exit out, but he's pulling me to the back. So I'm like, well, wait a minute, what's going on here? Hey. Oh, wow. Flav, what's up? <laughs> how you doing, boy? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Hey, welcome to your animal experience today. Out in the backyard, we found my boy Sid, the animal trainer. This is Stevie. Hi, Stevie. Yo, what's up, Stevie? <laughs> yeah. Today's date is called the Wild Animal Encounter. I want to see what you got in store for me. As long as you don't feed me to the animals, I'm fine. And I'm going to feed you <laughs> to me. Oh, yeah. It's going to be very, very wa ha 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 how. This is Rowdy. Hi, Rowdy. Black cap capuchin. What's he doing? What's he doing? Hey, he's getting ready to dig down into your weed. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> Yo, fam, you supposed to be blinging, G. Now that's straight up pimping. I ain't gonna lie, but I used to look like him when I was in the fourth grade. <laughs> Meet oh, Romeo. Romeo. This is a 14-week-old male African lion. This is the king of the jungle. If you guys want to kind of get down a little bit. Hey, Romeo. Look at those paws. They're huge. I'm sorry, G. Next thing you know, Romeo took a swipe at your man, Flav Flav. And I looked down at Romeo and I said, yo, that ain't cool, Romeo. Bye, Romeo. Wow. I looks up and out comes a big seven-foot tiger. <laughs> wow. Hold on to him. Hold on to him, Chris. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, everybody, back, back. On our solo day today, playing with all the animals. Well, hold, hold on to, hold on to, Chris. I see a big tiger running and tackle his trainer. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, everybody, back! If he's tackling his trainer, just imagine what he's going to do to us. Oh my God! <laughs> You've just been punked. Wow. He's right here behind you, Blake. <laughs> How big will he be when he's full? Well, he's 300 now, so he's going to get another 300 pounds. I'll show you. I'll show you how much he eats. In fact, I'll have you feed, hand feed him raw meat right now. So he won't mistake my hand for a piece of meat? Oh, there's no guarantee. It's like a 50-50 type deal. Sundar, come no, here. sure he won't take my whole hand? No, you come up next to me. Okay, go ahead. Right down there. Nice and low. See, it's real sturdy. Good job. Wow. Here you go. Okay. Bend it right down. Keep your hands flat. There you go. Good job. It ain't nothing for me to handle that 300 pound tiger. I got a bunch of tigers in my house. I can't stand that girl. <laughs> for real, I do not like her. <laughs> I don't like her. That was a perfect date for Seasons because she got to see some of her family from the zoo. Hey, listen, you guys enjoy your lunch. I'll, uh, let's see, I'll see you later. <laughs> Sorry about the hands. Nice to meet you. you too. Take care. Thank you. Bye, see you again. I still got my hand. It was a wonderful day with the animals. I was sad to see him go, but they had to leave. And I wanted to talk to Flav alone about Sincere. I've heard a couple more things. It's like talking to people. Some things that I think that need to be brought to your attention. Like what, for instance? Sincere. She's upset that the DJ said she was drunk, but he was doing nothing but speaking the truth. The truth is finally coming out about her really being an alcoholic and someone else noticed it outside the house, and hell yeah, that's embarrassing for Flav. I said to myself, I don't want a woman that's gonna be getting drunk. I don't know what she's doing. Nah, she ain't the one for you, Flav. The first time I see you, you know, I say to myself, she's a tiger. <laughs> huh? I'd rather you be a tiger, though. For real? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
long ass tongue. <laughs> How do my lungs taste? Wow. <laughs> she gave me a kiss, folks, and I ain't gonna lie. Her tongue was tickling my lungs. Hmm? I like that one. See you later, son, dog. Oh my God, that was so fun. Thank you so much. Wow. Y'all, come down for a second. Got something I want to tell y'all. Okay. After my date with Seasons was over, I had another task for the ladies. I just want to say, tonight, I got eliminations. Being that now I'm really getting down to the wire. Family is very, very important to me. So, I want you all to call your parents because I'm going to want to meet them. So, stop calling your parents. <laughs> you know, family is definitely important to your man, Flav. So what I had the girls do was to call their parents so I could meet my in-laws. Tell our dad that um, they want him to come out here. I was excited because I want him to meet my dad so he can see where I get part of my personality from. No, Flav wants to meet them. Hello? Hey, Mom. Tell them Mom and them they're getting ready because they're coming to the mansion. I'm happy <laughs> because I know that Flav is going to really love my parents. Hey, it's me. I was trying to get a hold of Mom to see if she would come out here. You think she would? My family is very religious. My mom, especially, she's she's very close with the Lord and has a lot of values, and my grandparents as well. So they're thinking that the show's gonna be a disaster. Well, I didn't know that I was. I didn't know that you're getting too upset and too worried right now. All right. Upset that no one from my family can make it out. I don't think it's fair, and I know that Flav wasn't gonna have it. Elimination is coming up, and all of these women are trying to find anything wrong with Tree right now. So what I'm gonna do is get all these little truths about myself. You know, write them down on little leaf-shaped papers and just kind of kind of pin them to myself, you know, all over my body. I am the tree of truth. Wow. That's what I call a tree. <laughs> this, this is actually what I like to call the tree of truth. So I hooked up with tree and she's got all of these paper leaves hooked up to her body. Have a seat. Are you sure? There's, I've got one on my boom boom. Wow. <laughs> you know what? This would be the first leaf that I pick. Okay. So, what is this Thank leaf you. about? Just little truths about me. I want to let you know that there's, there's nothing I'm trying to hide from you at all. <laughs> you know, I do everything I do for different reasons. And as far as being here, I'm here for you. Bottom line, I'm not here for this TV thing. I'm, I was here for him. So you was in a no-budget music video mm -hmm. shot in D.C.? I should have specified it was a, a hip-hop video. Let oh. me get this leaf sure. right there. <sighs> Did extra work in the movie Shooter. shooter. It was a movie Shooter. It was, um, Yo, that was recent. Mm -hmm. But wait a minute. I find out that Tree is in music videos, movies, fashion shows. Hey, I want to know, is Tree really, really here for me? Coming up, you be in a Jet Magazine. My fault you for that. Maybe no one's being eliminated tonight. I have an announcement to make. We're going to really find out who's failing me now. All of these women are trying to get me out of this house. So I pulled Flav aside and had a little one-on-one -on -one with him. And it went very well. And he and I are definitely on the same page, eye to eye here. I want that man Seasons to go home because she doesn't belong here. She's only here strictly for competition. Every time she kisses him, it looks like she's forcing herself. 
Flav is giving Sincere way too many chances. She's constantly jumping in someone's face. She's loud. She's an alcoholic. Like, these are all clear things that show Flav that this is not the woman that you want to be with. Good evening, ladies. Good evening, Flav. So I just want to say, each one of y'all right now is looking astonishing. I mean, bang. So ladies, your man right about now is getting ready to give away his first clock. I just want to say, you're black. We had a nice date last night. You know what I'm saying? The whole night. And I want you to stick around so I can get to know you even more. So what's popping? Do you feel like clocking? <laughs> Do you feel like clocking? Can I clock you, G? Can, can I clock you, G? You I want to clock you. <laughs> my first clock goes to black. Why? Because my date with her was magic. You know what time it is. Thank you. It felt great to get the first clock. I was, I was relieved. I think that Flav really cares and he's really trying to make an effort to get to know me better. Hey, yo, check one, two. I just gotta say the thing, too. I really, really appreciate that little date that we had last night because I got to feel the difference between you and your sister. So, would you come and accept your clock? Thing two. You know what time it is. I do. My second clock goes to thing two, because I know she's real. Just want to say your seasons, listen, we got to chill out with a lion. <laughs> Tiger, no bears. Oh my, but we had a bird. <laughs> we had a bird. So I guess you must have heard that you're gonna get a clock tonight. Come on, Seasons. Get your clock, baby girl. You know, and now I'm really starting to connect with you. So I want you to stick around a little longer. You know what I'm saying, would you? Yes, of course I will. So would you accept this clock for me tonight? Yes, I will, baby. Wow! <laughs> See, you know what time it is. Yes, I do. Thank you, baby. <laughs> wow. Now, I got one clock, and I got two bodies right there. Two! No, this isn't fair. You know, is this some type of joke? You know, maybe maybe no one's being eliminated tonight because there's no reason that I should be in the bottom two. I'm in the bottom two with Tarzan, and I don't see why I should be in the bottom two with this bitch. Got one clock, two bodies. This clock right here belongs to one of you young ladies. Now it comes down to Tree and Sincere. Sincere and Tree. I wonder which one is it gonna be? Sincere, even though at the radio station it was a little embarrassing because the way you were smelling. I'm in the bottom two again, and Flav says the reason why is because at the radio station, I was all drunk. And I think that that's bullshit because all of us have been drinking. That's not really good. When it's down to Sincere and Tree in the bottom two, I was thinking, finally, Flav is seeing what I'm seeing about Sincere and is going to send her home. And Tree, all of the things that you said about you being a Jet Magazine, Beauty of the Week, how you tried out for America's Top Model, how you was in a video shoot and all that. But I'm not faulting you for that because you are a good girl, honest girl, but I'm not feeling you in the way that I'm feeling these girls. So, your time is out. And Tree, you stay real, do you hear me? Absolutely. And stay beautiful. <laughs> 
Because you are America's top model. They just don't know it. They just don't know it. But if they were to give you a chance, I guarantee you that that'll be their last dance. Thanks for letting me pick the leaves off your tree. Thanks for letting me pick the leaves off your tree, man. I hope Blaine finds happiness. And for me, my man's still out there somewhere, and I'll be, I'll be praying that that he has a lot of the same qualities as Blaine Blaine does. Well, sincere. Come get your clock. I was really hoping that sincere would be the one to go. Wishful thinking is a motherfucker. I swear. Yo, sincere might be smelling like whiskey right now. Honestly, that kind of bothered your man a little bit. But I know one thing, as long as she's failing Flavor Flav, that she always has a place right now in my top four. Sincere, mm -hmm. you know what time it is. Now, ladies, I have an announcement to make that tomorrow I'm going to meet your parents. But then after that, we're going to have another elimination, and one of you young ladies will be leaving me. And the reason why is because three of you young ladies will be joining me to a trip to Paris, France. All right, to France. We're going to France. That's right. I'm taking my girls to France. The city of love. And only three girls are gonna make it. We're gonna really find out who's failing me now. This is the tree. That's to the tree right there. Gather around your man. Hey, Lisa, how are you? <laughs> Raise the glasses for the four remaining asses. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Flavor of Love. What are your intentions? What good can come from it? Here comes trouble. <laughs> this is the reason why two friends should never try to date the same guy because it's always going to end up bad. You go, girl! Oh. Since I've been here, you two have been thick as thieves. Well, we got to separate then. Maybe she isn't the friend that I think she is. I just don't think that she's a strong enough woman for you. I'm keeping it real with you. It was on my popcorn. You think that I'm, I, I'm weak? I, I gotta need a crutch? I can't stand on my own? You serious? At this point, I think that our friendship is over. I'm not on your cocktail. What you say then, Sincere? We're not cool. We're all nothing. Then keep it that way. Yeah, yeah, what was your idea, fam? I know. My man got something up. Hey, yo, my man got something up his sleeves, G. What was that? What was that, man? We were just contemplating if we wanted to have you take a hit. Huh? <laughs> what, what, like? Lion attack him? Yeah, uh, but uh, no, maybe next time. How come they won't let me do it? If you bend over in front of the cat, you're a target. Word. <laughs> <laughs>